I'm in agony. I am in mourning. I'm in disbelief. And you must be wondering why on earth would what happened to an Australian cricketer affect somebody at the other end of the world almost the manner in which it has. Not just because I love leg spin bowling, not just because Vaughan's numbers were extraordinary, not because he lived life on the edge and did the most miraculous things. Not, not also because he was just the greatest of his kind and I'll elaborate on all that. But simply because it was Shane Warne. You watched Shane Warne and you realized you were in the midst of something magical. You know, there are some people who are just born to play cricket, who are born to do what they are outstanding at doing beyond cricket. Some people are born to paint. Some people are born to invent the most incredible things. Shane Warne was born to go leg breaks. And it was an intoxicating mixture. The way he set up batsmen, the way he gambled. Oh, it was, I, I, I just love leg spin. Every time I met Warney, and I was very, very privileged to have known him well, I would pester him. I said, Warney, what speed did you bowl at? How long did you take to figure out what pitch, uh, what's, what is the right pitch, uh, right speed on this pitch? How long did it take you to figure out what a batsman did not like? And he enjoyed talking about leg spin bowling to someone who was a who just had the faith in leg spin bowling, who was a bhakt, who enjoyed it. I enjoyed talking leg spin bowling. No, I enjoyed listening leg spin bowling with Shane Bourne because what am I going to talk to him about? And he was passionate. He was absolutely passionate about bowling. I'll give you just a couple of examples of how passionate he was. He loved young Ravinder Jadeja like he was one of his own boys. Every time Jadeja came on, I said, Warney, one of your boys, and Warney would glow like that. He would literally glow like that when I said, Warney, one of your boys. And one day he kept going after the, uh, after the video editor saying, show me the one that goes straight. Show me the one that turns. And he kept looking at it. And then he was like a child. He said, you know what? I figured out the one that goes straight. I figured out the one that turns. And you know, this is what it does. And I said, this is one of the greatest talking about another bowler. But that's how involved he was in the game. That's how much he loved the game. And then I saw one site that I didn't think I would see. I, you know, to the world, Shane Warne was this almost brash, arrogant, uh, all, the, all the lip paint everywhere, the blonde hair thrown, thrown around, always conning people with his craft, sometimes looking like a little brash. And in the Sydney test in 2018-19, I think Kuldeep Yadav got five wickets in the last test. And he came to the, uh, every morning, by the way, as Warney would pass them, he would stop at the Indian nets, have a word with Kuldeep and go on. And Kuldeep was like a student. He would just sit and listen. And so when Kuldeep got five, he, he said, for me, the greatest thing is that my hero, Shane Warne, is, is watching. And I was in the commentary box in Fox with Warney next to me. And you should have seen Warney. He was blushing. He was red. He was coy. He was, he was almost like there's a surprise birthday gift that had been put up to him. He was in a different world. He was so happy. He was so excited because Warney loved the sport. Loved Australia, loved everything. Yes, but Warney loved the sport. You know, if Warney wanted to talk to this leg spinner, he'd say yes. Warney, can you have a look at that guy? He'd say yes. He would go and spend time with him. Warney was, Warney was a cricket of the world. There's another reason why I'm a little emotional today. Some years ago, would have been uh, three or four years ago, my son was starting his, uh, his website. And you know how it is for a young man starting his own website. It's called the Ringside View. And I just said to him, Shane Vaughan, and he looked at me to say, nah, impossible. And I messaged Vaughan. I said, Vaughan is a young kid starting a website. would mean a lot to him. I was speaking to him. And I didn't finish my sentence. He said, anytime, mate. And he, he did a fabulous long interview. He was generous with his time. And uh, I said, one, oh, you want big time for what you did to my young man. Maybe if I can, I'll do something to your kids. I don't know if that's going to happen. But uh, the greatest, the greatest leg spinner that ever played the game, there I say, the greatest spinner that, uh, that played the game, very, very passionate about, about what he did. Damn, he was 52, you know. He was 52. That's ridiculous. That's no age to go. Warney always lived on the edge. 
You knew who only lived on the edge. You knew he would do something outrageous from time to time because that was who he was. He did outrageous things on the field as well. But 52, one I don't know what, what you were going through. He tweeted this morning about <laughs> to lose Rod Marsh, little aware that we'd be writing his obituaries. Yeah, Bonnie, you had that effect on someone far, far away from a different country. You spoke so generously about Tendulkar. You spoke so generously about people who got runs off you. Yeah. Every time we met, I'd say, go well, Bonnie. And he'd say, yeah, mate. We had our differences when he came hard at me, but you knew that the opinion, he was always coming hard at you with his opinion. But uh, I, one of my great, one of my Happiest commentary stints was working with Shane Warne on Fox Sport in 2018. Can't even say go well. He was a legend, and uh, that's going to take some time to sink in.